Praise God everyone. Greetings from Scripture Union Uganda. My name is Navzale Shalom Shamim and Shalom. I serve with SU as the Ministry Administrator, Eastern Region. I'm privileged to work with a team of amazing, intelligent young men and women in reaching out to children and youth through the Scripture Union Ministry. It's such a wonderful day and I have a message for you, my friends, children, youth and parents out there. Our theme is commit your works or plans to the Lord. Let us read from Proverbs 16, verse 3. Commit your works to the Lord and your thoughts shall be established. We are going to understand these three phases or statements. Number one, commit to the Lord. Two, whatever you do. Three, and your thoughts shall be established. Sadly, men, men and women give lip service to this well-known verse. They think that it means to say the words of the verse and then do their own thing. This is not what it's meant. Satan tricks many with this deception. Rather, a righteous fear of God will cause a man or woman to long to do only what is the will of God. A wise person will know that they cannot trust their own heart, according to Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9, and won't try. A painful course is to wait until the very last minute to check in with God, asking Him to bless the plan He never was behind. It's not that you should pray and wait for a prophetic revelation before each tiny step. That would be an invitation to be tricked by Satan. God has delegated authority to us to make decisions and move forward. However, there is a way to do that in His presence, abiding in Him and seeking His peace along the way that will lead to a fruitful life. Jesus promised that his burden is easy and his yoke was light. Matthew 11.30 The reason for this is that truly committing to the Lord whatever you do puts all the heavy lifting on God. Children, I need your attention here. Number one, we want to understand, commit to the Lord. Easy believism has caused trouble. Easy believism is a mindset that today, if people believe in God and do good works, they're going to heaven. This is described by Bill Graham. You can't live the rest of your life your own way with your get out of hell free card. Instead, what God wants is to commit to him and his ways. Lay your life down. Take up your cross, Matthew 16, 24. Die to yourself and live unto God, Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. Children, young men and women, parents, you cannot struggle with what you cannot handle. You need to accept and commit all your troubles to God. He will help you out. What's that you're struggling with? Is it your children's or spouse character? Children, what habits are you struggling with? It's time to surrender to God. Parents encourage to children to attend Sunday school and participate in Christian fellowships. Let us commit their future in God's hands. Watch out for the change in the education system. More verses, you read Job chapter 5, verse 8. Psalms 55, verse 22. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 6. Number 2, whatever you do. If you're living a life that whatever you do cannot be committed to God, go back to square one. Do you believe that without God you are a sinner who deserves his wrath? Believe in Jesus and give him your life. He promises abundant life when we leave our old self behind and follow him as his disciple. John 10.10 10. 
leave nothing back but give everything to God. We have made children to only remember to go to church during special days like baptism, confirmation, Christmas, Thanksgiving. Let us not just do things because religion says so, rather to root them on the right doctrine. Number three, and he will establish your plans. The Dawa meaning here is that God will put the right plans the ones according to his will in your heart. Job chapter 22 verse 28. It says, You will decree a thing and it shall be established unto you. His plans will become your plans and he makes those plans to succeed. There is absolutely no reason to fret ever or be anxious. God is the one who will establish you and your plans. If something isn't working, it's not God, because what God wants to work will work. It's a tremendous blessing to find peace in that truth. Sadly, much energy is wasted in worrying when Christians think it's their job to establish those plans. Commit all to him and live according to his ways. There will be peace, joy, contentment, and abundance. Parents who are thinking of changing your children's schools, marrying them off due to this situation, young people who have given up on school, your projects, meditate on this word. God bless you.